Okay, today's car boot haul weighs 30.4 pounds. So, today's car boot, well, I think it was last car boots, we were all looking for little mice. So, I got this chap. He's quite nice, isn't he? He stands up, he's going for a run, but I'll put him there, you'll see him better. So he measures uh, 10, 10 inches. I can't remember if it, I honestly can't remember if it was a pound or 50 pence. But I had to have him. All made out of metal. Absolutely lovely. So that, that's, that's one item right, for today. A little bit unusual. Then I went back to this one. I see this one at the start of the second car boot I went to. And uh, I see this, and a bloke walked past, he said, how much? And the geezer said, 20 quid, and I thought, two of you. So I went back at the end, and I said to him, how much for that £5 statue? And he said, well, that'd be £5 then. And I said, that's a bit overpriced, but I paid him the £5. That's, that's, can you see this? Uh, from what I can make out, this is the earliest version of a, a knight in armour giving someone the uh, the wanker sign. Can't seem to work out what else that could be. So I thought, brilliant, have that. We'll give that a clean in the future at some point. See what comes out of that. Now, on to the serious stuff. The tools. So, my mate Ben, he got one of these the other day. Nice brass Eclipse number 77. So I got this as well. And I believe this was 20 pence. So... Bargain. Same person. She had these uh, and little brass wheel there for. I guess that's something to do with leather making. Don't know. And uh, this. Don't know what that is, but you know it looks different. So they were all twenty pence each. Didn't try and knock her down to fifty p. I thought that's all right. Uh, Stanley screwdriver. Twenty pence. CK screwdriver, 50 pence. It takes the bits in the end. So, see what that goes for. Uh, these are a pair of comfy cut. Two, what's it, scissors. And they, listen. They'll clean up nice. Uh, 50 pence. Then, got this big old draper. 32 mil draper. Pound. I got a pair of Elliot Lucas six inch pliers lovely and defined on the writing could be never used looking at them we'll know when we clean them up uh, 20 pence or 50 pence can't remember these were 20 pence again I think these are Elliot Lucas little pair there of uh, duck bills that was that, and then I've got this box here, I see this box, and I said to the man, how much for this big stamp? Expecting him to say 50p or a pound, he said, you take the whole box for a pound. Now this is an unusual King Dick, it's a King Dick Leyland, so that's very unusual, never seen a Leyland Spanner. So got, for the Americans, uh, it's British Leyland. I think British Leyland once had minis. Not sure on that one. British Leyland. They all change hands, don't they? Made in England. Could be that is a snail, a very worn snail. Bedford. Gordon. Gordon. Matador. Matador. Nothing. Nothing. Your door, Gordon, your door, Brittle, High Top. They're all named apart from one. Right? Happy with that. Then we move on to the big stuff in the bag. Nearly done, people. Nearly done. Fast one today, isn't it? Fast one. Alright, I said to the man, how much do you want for that? It's an 18 inch record, it is very clean, only the handle's uh, blue, so that's going to clean up quite well. 
that will go out on eBay for £22. £4, he said. I said, right, how much? I'll give him a fiver. I said, how much for them paint brushes? He said, £2. I said, if you take a pound, you can keep that £5 note. And he said, yeah. So he fell for that one. Uh, and I see these. These were 20 pence. And they're Elliot Lucas again. So 8 inch pair of pliers. 20 pence Stanley screwdriver. That should clean up good. Uh, another two door. That must have fell out that box. Then we got... I bought this so I can butcher it. It is a no brand spanner. Uh, and I can butcher it. And hopefully this jaw might fit me diamond. Might. And 20 pence for a pair of Nipex. Look. Real Nipex. 20 pence. 50p. I pay 50p for this one. So Stanley 10015. So I ain't seen one of them. And we know what happened to that, don't we? It's quite good. I might keep that in the orange. I might keep that orange. And then, I believe this is the piece de resistance to today's show. That's what I check the science. So I'm going to do the piece de resistance in there. Got this off a nice girl in there. This is an R, a J and J Siddons number four. Number three, with a four on there, iron. Pound. No, 50p. 50p, do you want it for that? 50p. Nothing in the other end. Apart from two coffee cups. Oh. So, today's star buy. Well, apart from the man who gives the wanker sign. I think it's got to be this wolf drill. Look at that, hey! Eh? Right, yeah. It's got it's got a label on five pound. Scribbled out. Turn it over. Three quid. Three quid for that lovely wolf drill. Now, what we're going to do now is test. It got brass plate on it, look. We're going to test the bugger out. I'm off to work shortly, so I'm going to try and make this video out quick. But maybe it won't come out till later today, I don't know. Right, ready? Here we go. Frequent it works. Hey. Can't do better than that. That is my star buy of the day. Right, so what shall I use for the thumbnail? The drill, the mouse, or the man giving the sign? I don't know. So today's car boots are both in Suffolk. One was at Stone and Barnes of about 100 cars, free entry, and the other was at Walpit, Suffolk. Again, free entry and about. 50 cars. Best thing about both, hardly any traders. All real people car booting stuff, cheap prices. My sort of car boot sales. Okay, that is all for today. Check out my earlier video I released a couple of hours ago. Bye for now.